So we have this diagram. Uh, it says that line M is parallel to line L. We have to find, well, it's not the measure of X, just the value of X, and then all the missing angles. As it turns out, we could find all the missing angles without solving for X as well. You guys remember these relationships right here? So if this is 75 degrees, and since those two lines are parallel, then what other, let's, let's number these, by the way. So we've numbered these just so we can identify which angles we're talking about. What other angles would be 75 degrees? If we looked at this. Three would be, very good. Four. That's close. Yeah, that's right. It's this one right here, the 11x minus 2. So all of these are 75 degrees which we can write in. You'll have some space to do this on the test. Now, since this 11x minus 2 is also 75 degrees, that gives us an equation. 11x minus 2 equals that 75 degrees. And so, to solve for x, we would add 2 to both sides, giving us 77 equals 11x, because our 2's there cancel out. So to solve for x, we would divide both sides by 11, and we would find that x is 7. So there's one answer, and we have four other answers, but we need four more answers. Do you guys remember the relationship? Let's, let's just focus on one of these, okay? Let's focus on this intersection and see if it helps us. So, if we look at this angle right here, does it have any relationship with any other angles? What do you mean? More, a little bit more specific. Uh, like on the corner, like the four of them have to equal That's close. That's close. You're on the right track there. So, if we look at this, this is a straight line. You guys remember that? So this is a straight angle pair. Already so that means the 2 uh -huh. would give us 180. So I'm talking specifically about these two. However, I could also be talking about these two, and it won't matter. This is the reason why all vertical angles are, well, one of the reasons, why all vertical angles are congruent. So we know that this, again, I'm looking at angle 4. I guess I'll look at angle 4, whatever. Angle 4 plus angle 1 should equal 180 degrees because they give us this straight line right here. Hopefully that's visible enough. The thing is, is that we already know oops, what angle 1 is, angle 4 is. We know that angle 4 is 75 degrees, and we're going to add this to angle 1, which we don't know, and that should equal 180. Close, very close. So we'll subtract 75 from both sides, right? Oh, okay. And that tells us that angle 1 is 105. So definitely on the right track there, Jessica. It's very good. And you just subtract 180 from 75? Yeah, that's pretty much what we did. Now, so you're talking about a little shortcut there, Ashley, and that's okay. Um, because all I did was... I just wrote the equation out, essentially, for that. So here's the thing. So if we know angle 1 is 105 degrees, what other angles are 105 degrees? Six is. That's very good. This is 105 degrees. What else? Two and five. There we go. So if you guys can figure out all those... I mean, that's kind of like nine different problems right there, I think.